Hey guys, it's Ghosty. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm sharing my review of The Blackening. And yesterday was Juneteenth, and a couple of days before that, The Blackening came out. I finally got a chance to see it. I've been so excited to see this film ever since the trailer dropped way back whenever it dropped. I just always love seeing black horror and I'm especially in this time that we're just kind of getting it all the time. This is a black horror comedy brought to us by the producers of things like A Man, Ride Along, Barbershop, a couple of classics in black cinema. I just love seeing my two favorite worlds collide. Classic black cinema, horror cinema, coming together, fucking loved it. The Blackening is directed by Tim Story, co-written by Tracy Oliver, and also Dwayne Perkins, who's a part of the cast as Dwayne. This film actually started as a short created by a comedy group, a Chicago comedy group. I think they're from Chicago. And this group is Dwayne Perkins, who's, like I said, Dwayne in Blackening. It's just a ske short sketch comedy of a group of black people in the cabin in the woods, and they're being chased down by this psycho killer and they start making all these jokes about horror tropes and things like that. It's pretty funny, check it out. I did see it on YouTube, but through this idea, they were able to create a whole movie with a similar idea, but add even more to it. So this film is starring a cast of lesser known black actors and actresses who are also like high key booked and busy. The majority of them have experience in comedy, which I think is so key to what makes this film really work. Cause this shit's actually really fucking funny. So we have Grace Byers who was seen in Empire. She's played Allison in the film. We have Jermaine Fowler who is in Coming to America. He plays Clifton in the cast. We have Antoinette Robinson who's previously in Dear White People. Fucking love that, the TV show not the movie she's coco pretty well known character in that series if you know it if you don't know it watch it melvin gregg who plays the character king melvin gregg has a bunch of history in tv x mayo who plays the character shanika most recently in the notable swarm if you haven't seen swarm check it out as i mentioned before dwayne perkins seems like he has a lot of tv writing credits on brooklyn 99 he's done a lot of comedy he was on wild and out his horror knowledge which is i'll get into this later but what is very much sewn in the blackening he just gets the comedy horror thing more about the cast because that was a side tangent we have Cinqua Walls, who was in Nanny, which is another recent black horror film. I saw it on Shudder, maybe Netflix. And the rest of the cast is Jay Farrow as Sean, Yvonne Orgy, Yvonne Orgy? That's Orgy, but I'm going to say Orgy. Yvonne Orgy, who was in Insecure, we all know. It's a Ray's joint. She plays Morgan. So that is our cast, and I can say that it's a great ensemble. They work together great. There's amazing chemistry. They're really good at making jokes off of each other. I read that most of the script, or maybe not most, but a lot of the script was improvised between the cast. You can tell. It's a little bit of a con for me there. You know, I will say I do like this film, but it's not a perfect film for me. That was one of the cons, is that it did feel sometimes too much like comedic bit after comedic bit. Although the shit was fucking funny, it just felt like sometimes it was too much. Also, part of me felt like some of the jokes weren't speaking to black audiences, but more so mockery and almost like leaning into stereotypes in a negative way. I'm not gonna get into like specifics or details, but that's just how some of the jokes felt to me. But I do think that overall it's great and that those things don't really affect the movie too much for me. The Blackening is about a group of old college friends getting back together to celebrate Juneteenth and have a little bit of a reunion. So just as the group of friends party is getting started, they're playing spades, the lights go out, shit gets really freaky, and they're forced to play this really racist game called The Blackening in order to survive a sadistic killer that is lurking. This game is essentially a trivia game, trivia involving black history black horror trivia seems like 
just things that a black person would know. As I said before, this shit is funny. It delivers in humor. A lot of those jokes, even in that trivia game, land. There's a French joke that just really gets me. But on top of this comedy, this film really does deliver as a true horror story. And it's clear that the writers and the team in general who is working on this, they really fucking know their horror. Even before I watched the movie, even watching the trailer, we're bringing back this very Saw inspired let's play a game type vibe. Who can survive? That is kind of the basis of this film, but we also get so much of a cabin in the woods slasher. Though I wish there was way more blood. I, I really would love to see some good slashing. The killer's weapon was like a crossbow thing, which is like, okay, that's not really big. Even beyond like these very obvious horror references and inspired you know story elements or like direct shots they managed to actually kind of bring their own thing you know an interesting villain reveal it's kind of predictable at least like one of the killers but it turns out there's three of the killers and one of the party goers which not really to our surprise is the one who everybody's like why are you here clifton he kind of represents this like sub community in the black community honestly if you know you know but I, it makes sense why he's the villain guy is fucking cuckoo bananas great honestly his his villain spiel at the end like pretty much everything really was great to me i'm like yo this is low-key iconic i feel like the killer being amongst the group of friends is so scream now i i wish that the dialogue and the script did lean more into like the self-referential horror there was an awareness that was there but it's mostly like with one-liners and this and that it was like evident that they know what they were talking about but now it's like show that you know how to talk about what you're talking about but also writing a movie is hard so i really don't blame them like whatever they brought to the table was still pretty fucking good so serves this you know my all-time favorite thing about this film spoiler alert all the characters survive and i think the biggest fucking trope in horror film and with jokes just within the black communities black people do not survive in horror films also before they go out to face the sadistic killer they come together and the things that they say together it just shows like the true sense of community and i think in general another reason why this movie really struck with me as a black person and i know will struck for the rest of the black community is that it shows what black people would actually do in these situations when it comes to like surviving they're going to like fight they're gonna do it they're even watching a horror movie today and i'm like these white people ain't trying to fucking defend themselves yet you know <laughs> watching the blackening it's just like when it got down to the wire and they were really scared they were like you know it's really hard really tough we can do it they talked about their ancestors that's what it fucking is like when it comes down to the wire it's like you know what my ancestors fucking went through hell and they got through that shit some of them didn't get through that shit but i'm here today because of this bitch and i gotta fucking try and get through this shit you know your ancestor wisdom and your human survivalist and get through this shit and they did they fucked that shit up blackening's a great movie guys i give it four stars like i said would have given it five if the script was just a little bit stronger it was less on the we're pandering to white people just a little bit on the jokes not a lot just but I still fucking recommend it. Go out to see if you haven't seen it. When it's on streaming, check it out. Put it on when you're at the cookout. Go watch it with your mom. It's a great one. Yeah, that's Black. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can always hit the bell to be notified whenever I release new content. Follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at ghosty underscore, Twitter at ghosty, and letterbox at ghosty. I'll see you in the next video.